okay, so you jailbroke your Apple TV with the latest season pass, and what you're saying to yourself is, what's the next step? All I see is a new logo on my Apple TV screen, and it says Firecore, and it says Settings. So you look at that and you say, now what's the next step? So I'm going to tell you in this video. The next step we're going to do is an Apple TV flash black. And how you can get that is you go on the Firecore website. The link will be in the description. And you order Apple TV flash black for $29.95. Um, what this is going to do, it's going to allow you to add a web browser, your last FM channels, and you can access your media anywhere. Uh, and it plays different formats other than natively playing on the Apple TV. So let's get started. Here we go. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you go into your Apple TV and get into the settings. Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi, you connect it to home sharing, and you enable AirPlay. And the reason you need to do this is because that's how ATV Flashback is going to talk to your Apple TV. You're going to leave your Apple TV plugged into your t television set through the HDMI, the Ethernet cable if you use one, and you also want the power source. You don't have to disconnect it for this step. So just keep it connected, and now let's click on the ATV flash black. So we double click that. It'll ask you to continue. And then you just basically go through all the steps. Make sure your Mac enables third party installs. All right, so we go on the list here and it's going to do it automatically. In the old days, you had to SSH into your Mac and you don't have to do that. So this is my Apple TV, just basically called. Apple TV with my Apple I with my IP address. So now we're going to hit continue. And it's going to transfer some files over. It's going to add a couple of new icons to your Apple TV screen. And then you'll be able to add on a whole bunch of different things. The download comes in a DMG and you basically just open that ATV flash black DMG and you'll get this welcome screen. And all we did was basically double click and pick our Apple TV from the list of Apple TVs you have. If you have just one, of course, there's just going to be one on there. I have three, but I only have one Apple TV 2. So this is the only one I can do it on. Hopefully we get a jailbreak for the Apple TV 3. I hear it's in the works, but we'll see what happens. So we're going to transfer. Oh, there we go. It's completely successful. Now we'll go to the Apple TV and we'll take a look at it and see what differences there are. Okay, so now if we go into the Apple TV, you'll notice that the Firecore logo is not there anymore, and it's added a maintenance browser. And then everything else is the same. So if we click into maintenance, we'll see we can manage extras. And what you can do is you can add the couch surfer. So now that we're installed our couch surfer you'll see that it says install and we can go ahead and launch and install last fm so now that we law la we launched and installed last fm you can install the media player okay we installed our media player and we can also install RSS feeds. So we're going to install Neato TV. Okay, we installed RSS feeds, and now you can install weather. When we get to the installation successful, you can just hit the menu button to back out so that you can pre-install everything and then restart or respring our Apple TV which is also called low tide so now if we go back into maintenance we'll see that we have all of these installed um, you also can install the Neato TV and once again just hit the back button the menu button so now we have everything installed that we want to install you see here it's listed as installed. Okay, and now let's relaunch the Apple TV. Okay, so you resprung your Apple TV and you noticed all the new beautiful icons on your springboard here. And what you're going to do is you, this is media.
player. And the great thing about media players is you can go in and automatically it will search for any shared uh, drives or whatever. This is my Netgear, uh, that is my wireless router that has a USB, you connect a USB drive to it and you can go in and search movie, TV shows, things like that. I don't have uh, a drive connected to it, but if I did, you'd be able to see all this stuff inside here. And then you can add other ones depending on how you have it set up on your computer to share. So let's go now into the next thing. And the great thing about the media player is you can play any format, like I was saying. Uh, you don't have to use a converter and convert it to formats that Apple TV, uh, you know, adore. So Neato TV, I had you install it, even though our next video is going to cover XBMC uh, Hub or the Neato TV installer. Uh, but we're going to skip right over that. Just leave it right there. Not a problem. If you want to go in, you can just go in and maybe update it. Um, if you go to settings, just check for updates, uh, you know, and you use it to restart. That's why I had you install it. Uh, respring so you can respring and get all these icons back on after you installed all these uh, and of course to install these apps uh, but let's skip over that one now the browser what's great about the browser is you can um, search websites and the best thing about I think the best thing about the browser is that if you go into settings you could change your user agent to iPad or iPhone so if there's HTML5 sites that you stream like iStream.net or TV land or movie land iDev creation movie land you can change it to iPad and it'll think it's an iPad or an iPhone and allow you to stream it without throwing you to the desktop site, which is like a blog. So we won't worry about that right now. And we're not going to go too much into detail, but pretty much you could do Google searches. You could set up bookmarks. Uh, you can enter an address manually, which is great. And then you have a history and it also uses a smart uh, feature so that it, you know, like Google uh, now or Google search where if you start typing in something in, it will start to uh, load uh, pages for you ahead of time. So that's a good thing. So let's come out of that. And, you know, browser is a browser, so it has a couple of nice, neat little features, but we won't get too crazy into it. Uh, so last FM, I already took the liberty of signing in. And by the way, I, I recommend that you buy a Bluetooth keyboard because, you know, the Apple TV now covers, uh, you know, supports Bluetooth keyboards. Um, as long as they are Apple layout, uh, you can install a keyboard and no more fiddling around with your Apple TV remote to try to get things to, you know, type in. And that's not a fun way of experiencing the web. So here's my last FM. I say I went to Popular Artist, and you see that it's beautiful. It has a, a list of you know things that you've played. Now last FM is pretty much a service where when you start to scrobble over, to oh, yeah. let me pause this. You, if you scrobble, if you scrobble uh, your Pandora or your or, or your iPod or whatever, you can pretty much it knows what kind of music you like, and it will give you uh, you know data for that particular music. So it kind of learns what you do. And that's what's great about Last, Last FM. If you play a lot of a certain song on Pandora, you'll get them at Last FM. It kind of, uh, you know, contours to your taste. So then the weather feed, you have the weather feed, and uh, it's basically set up there. But if you press and hold the center button, you can add uh, or edit uh, your location. If you're going to visit someplace and you want to know the daily weather by the hour or the minute or whatever here, you, you have it all in here. So you basically would add a location and uh, you would just, you know, be able to have weather. And then this way, when you're also in Neato TV, you have the weather app there. And then the RSS feed, and you know, it's nice to have an RSS feed. They, they have the basic ones up here, but you can add a location. And pretty much uh, what it looks like is something like, oh, I got a little error message. I hit it too quickly. Well, actually, dig is not configured right. Let's do it in, in, in gadget. So basically, you can pretty much see the stories and give you a little quick idea of what's going on in the day. So that's nice to have, uh, you know, sitting back on your couch. Now, maintenance, the only thing you're going to use, again, in maintenance is to um, <clears throat> is to add, you know, any of these features if you lost them. Um, but basically, you really don't have to do anything. Um, you can manage your backups now. And you can also backup. If you want to be able to restore to a previous version of your Apple TV, uh, you could do so. But I don't recommend it because there's a lot of things that are different. But if you really wanted to, you could. Uh, you could save your SHSH just like you do for an iOS device and you'll be able to recover uh, that way. And uh, it's nice to have, uh, I recommend doing it after you configure everything uh, to the way you want it. And then this way it saves all your bookmarks and all that other good stuff. So let's come out of there. We really don't need the maintenance there. And uh, the Bluetooth keyboard, uh, you can do in settings and general, and then go to Bluetooth. And then you'll see that we have it paired already, but it will show up there. You make your keyboard pairable, and then you put in the code, the four digit code that they give you, type it into the keyboard and it will connect. So that's your Bluetooth keyboard, and that's pretty cool. And so basically, this is the full setup. Now, our next video, we're going to try to get a XBMC to work on here. And I like to use the XBMC hub because they configure everything already for you. They have all these sources, like Ice Films, One Channel, uh, 
a whole plethora of different uh, uh, sources that you can go and get free movies and everything else. And that's like the number one feature uh, for Apple TV lovers everywhere. And then I would say the browser would be the next thing. And then the fact that you can play all your media anywhere you want. Now, there are a lot of benefits to jailbreaking your Apple TV. Uh, stock items work. Everything works. You don't lose any functionality of your original Apple TV prior to jailbreak. So you can't beat that. You got YouTube. You got everything you want to get. And who knows what's going to happen in the near future with Apple. Uh, they're probably going to have an Apple TV soon. And, or maybe they're going to add a lot more features. They'll maybe have ABC apps, uh, uh, NBC apps, you know, all that stuff on the TV, with, you know, partnering with these major television companies. And you'll probably see HBO Go and all that stuff. And you can even use the browser to log right into HBO. I have another video in uh, this playlist. Uh, it's an older video, but it'll show you all about the couch browser and you'll be able to do all that. So I hope this helped you, uh, you know, to get an understanding of what software does what. You hear a lot of things. You don't know what's coming from where. And hopefully my videos in this playlist will give you an idea of what you're looking at. Okay. So that is it for this video. And now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and give that XBMC hub a try, see if it works.